Hey, hello everybody! Welcome again, Alberto Iglesias. You are in Brunswick Saturday, and you know a different pair of Brunswick every week. So uh, let's talk about Brunswick, okay? <laughs> um, this week I had a request uh, from uh, our friend Eduardo La Espada. Uh, awesome guy. He he knows a lot about, dr about drumsticks. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he knows more than me. In fact, that uh, well, he asked me to t to try this this pair, which is the uh, Modern Jazz Collection, the series Modern Jazz Collection from Big Fear. And we're talking about the MDC two. Okay, we've already tried uh, another two models from this series. I don't remember. I think it's the one and the four. I think. Uh, well, you can check the videos if you want in the channel. Uh, in this case, it's the MDC two. And first of all, let's see how it looks like. Here you have a picture, and um, then I can talk about the drumstick. Okay, here you have it. So you see, peculiar, special, peculiar tip, right? Um, well, first of all, the measures, the sizes, and all that. Uh, we're talking about 16 inches long. Um, we have 0 0.550 inches uh, thickness. Um, we have a super, super long taper, uh, arrow tip, and um, it's hickory. Okay, uh, so that's. All the, the data, the data I have, uh, what it means, okay, 16 inches, you know, regular size or length from a regular 5A, 5B from Big Firth, all that. We have a 0 0.550 inches uh, uh, thickness, so we are kind of in the middle between the 7A and the 5A. Uh, yeah, 5A is uh, uh, 5, uh, 0 0.565 and and 7A is uh, 0 0.540, so we're kind of in the middle. Uh, super long taper, as you can see, it's pretty obvious, seeing the picture or seeing the, the drumstick, in fact. And uh, an arrow tip, uh, not so common, in fact, but pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, okay, now I'm going to explain what I've seen. Well, first of all, we have in the other cases, when I, when, with the other two models we try, I remember I, I told you that they are not made, I don't see that model especially for jazz, I think they're, uh, you can use them for many other, you know, for different styles. Uh, but honestly, in this case, I think this, this uh, drumstick is mainly designed for jazz or all that vibe, um, jazz or, I don't know, more, all that kind of music, I think. Why? Okay, first of all, this, this drumstick, are, I super light. Uh, uh, they have a low volume. It's something that you're gonna notice immediately if you try this pair and start playing. Uh, the volume is pretty low, uh, so your range, your range of, of work, it's going to be in, in the low uh, area area of, of volume. Okay. Uh, first thing. So if you play aggressive, not aggressive, but more hard styles, when you need more more punch, more more volume, and all that. Uh, this is not gonna give you that. So um, first thing you have to pay attention, I think, is that uh, uh, the kind of sound. The vo now we are talking just about volume, okay? The, the kind of volume you get from this, even if you play, even if hitting hard, you know the kind. It's it's not only about volume; it's also about the kind of sound. But anyway, just focusing on volume, you, you're gonna get low volume, okay? So first thing is that. Uh, second thing is they are super light. Even being a hickory, uh, it's they are they are thin drumsticks. First of all, so you have less less wood, uh, and we have super long taper, so also less wood here. All all, all that combined, it's we are talking a super super light uh, drumstick. It's they are in fact lighter than many maple uh, drumsticks that I've tried in the past. Uh, you can feel it. You have it in your hand. They they. they Birdie, you know, they don't have birdie weight. They, they are super, super light. So, of course, again, more all that goes against the volume. <laughs> less, less weight, we have less, less volume. So that's why I mean, if you, if we focus on that, that's why, why I say that I, I think they're 
designed for that kind of vibe of jazz when you don't want high volume not not only especially jazz but all that kind of uh, you know more musical styles when you don't need all that volume um what else now now but the, the main i think that the, the main characteristic of this drumstick it's a combination well i think it's, it's mainly the tip in fact but the combination of tip and um, long taper it's what makes this this uh, drumstick special i think um well about the long taper you know more rebound uh, we have light drumstick super long taper super fast drumstick i have to say you can play super fast with this uh, and you can focus in more you don't have to care too much about the volume you can hit harder to get more rebound maybe you you uh, use your rebound you use you you play uh, harder to get more rebound more or faster rebound uh, you can do that because you don't have to worry too much about being too loud um, uh, so all that combination of, of uh, lightweight and, and long taper super fast drumstick but we have this uh, arrow tip which is it reminds me to the Joy Radia model but the Joy Radia model has the blended tip is the main difference but the, the, the shape is kind of the same thing um, uh, what happens with this okay I think that having this kind of of, uh, of tip in this case, we have a lot of surface touching the drumstick. The, uh, sorry, touching the the cymbal, for example, the right when you hit. So I think it's good to balance that. You know the the you know when you have a long taper. I always say that you lose some control. The rebound is different. It's more uncontrolled rebound. Um, well, having this tip, I think it it kind of balance the whole thing because uh, you have more surface touching so it kind of stabilizes the, 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 the stroke uh, and, and you don't have so much I mean if you have a small round tip you have so you know it's such a small surface touching that you don't have barely anything to balance the, the rebound in this case you have a lot of surface touching so I, you can feel that it's fast, it's really a little bit more uncontrolled, but the tip, I think it works really well with this combination. Um, if we just, just focus in on, on that rebound. But what makes this tip special for me is, is the, the sound you get. Why? Especially with the right, okay? I think it's the, the main uh, uh, thing to consider in this case. You can hear but the, the, the way that the ride opens, it's really, really, really sweet, it's really good. You can hear a lot of overtones, uh, super um, complete sound, it's like, uh, I, I would say. Uh, so it's just, you, you just hear more than just a simple ding, 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 ding with a round small tip. With this, you hear that, but at the same time you can hear more overtones, you hear the, the, the more... I would say it's kind of a very atmosphere, the combination of the, the, the swing, but also the sound of the cymbal when, when it's opening so much. So I think it's really, it, you get a really, really uh, uh, sweet sound, I would say. I love the sound with this tip. Um, and, and also you have another characteristic with, with this kind of thing and... Uh, so with, with such a uh, extreme uh, uh, tip is the angle of attack. I've mentioned this many times in the past, I think. But uh, with this kind of tip, just modifying a little bit the angle, the sounds change completely. Why? Because if you hit like this, you have a lot of surface touching, so the symbol is going to open a lot. But when one, I mean, if you just very just like this I don't know if you're gonna I'm pretty sure you're not gonna but it's easy to understand modifying this you have just a little bit of surface touching the symbol in this case and just moving a little bit because it's, this is so flat that you have this and that's great to get more uh, focus sound more definition or just more open sound so having this tip gives you another research when you play to modify the sound, I say, I mean, especially I say, especially with this. Well, with the, maybe with the snare too, but uh, for me it's more clear with the with the right, 
even more with, with the hi-hat or the place when this, uh, I think with these uh, drumsticks are, um, uh, you know, his, 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 uh, what makes them different, I think. It's, all, it's especially this tip and combined with that, with the ride and all that sound. So, uh, it's, it's also true that you have to learn to, to, to control that and to use that. But once you have it, it's great if you have that option. So, I really like the drumstick. Honestly, it's, it, I think it's kind of a special drumstick. It's not a multi-purpose drumstick. I think it's maybe good to have this pair for that situations when you have, oh man, I have to pay a lot of attention to the volume and I don't want to be so worried about playing without the strength and just, uh, you know. So having this pair is like, an, it's a light drumstick, but at the same time, you're going to be able to get that overtones and just give a little bit of, of you know, tasty, uh, tasty sound, I would say. Okay, so good drumstick, in fact, but, but honestly, in, in this case, I think it, the modern jazz collection is completely understandable. I, I think it's, it's jazz drumstick, in my opinion, of course. It's up to you to try and let me know what do you think, but uh, I think they are uh, designed for that. Good drumstick. Anyway, so next week we're going to the other stream. I have another request, um, and in this case we're going back to Vincent. In fact, this one maybe I think the only one of the only models I didn't have from Vincent because uh, it's one of the signature models from from them, and it's the signature model from Thomas. I don't know, Hake, Heki, Huki. I still don't know. I promise I'm gonna check that out. So in the next video I'm gonna say the the name correctly, but let me tell you something, this is a huge drumstick, okay, so now I am on the other side of the road, okay, so it's gonna be a pretty hard, interesting week using these drumsticks. That's all for this week, okay, uh, take care, keep practicing, keep drumming, and let me know what you think, okay, and ah, by the way, you are, many of you are writing me about, asking me advice about drumsticks, and I want to, this, or, well, I'm going to try to help you as, as much as I can, but please, remember I'm not an expert, I'm, not a, I'm just learning like you, so always, uh, you have to know, you have to try, it's not about me telling you, okay, get this pair, I'm going to try to, to give you some kind of guide so you can focus more on what to use or what to try, but I'm never going to tell you, oh, use this, that's the solution, no, uh, you have to try. I'm going to be your options or at least ideas to try or, I don't know. Uh, 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 I try to help you as much as, much as I can, but please uh, consider that, okay? I'm not an expert. I, I'm just a student, okay? So I hope I can help you, okay? See you in seven days. Keep practicing, keep drumming, and keep trying all that drumsticks, okay? Goodbye.